Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a cryptocurrency called Soul Phantasma. I think the time has arrived where you want to start paying attention to this coin. I made a post on Twitter. I said, just let it ride up and then let it correct to see what it's going to do. Rather than sitting around watching paint dry, like some of the cryptos are doing recently. And that's just an example, you know, just kind of taking his time, taking his time, taking his time to do it. XRP is one of them. No the reason I don't like, look, I'm not like when the XRP Max, he's got to give him credit, man. These guys got some serious, serious patience. But, you know, that chart's like watching paint dry, guys, in my opinion. So I don't like the chart, and that's why I don't like it uh, too much, guys. But is he going to have one last hoorah? It probably will, guys. It probably will. So. I just think you're going to make more in other assets. That's my take on it. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but I don't think so. Anyway, if you just land here, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Be really, really appreciated. I got the uh, S&P 500 on there, guys. I want to go over that, you know, because if these guys are going to be going up and you have a good shot, that they're going to be going up. It's going to take it some time. They've been sideways for almost a year. You can see over here. You see that? Look at that. May of 22, and that's over here. March of 23, sideways for a year, guys. And that's really, really telling me this is going to be doing something like that, guys. I do think so with the uh, S&P 500. All right, made a video. said, look, that's probably a diagonal, three-way move. And it's going to shoot out of there just like it did, getting above, back above that trend line. And it could come down and correct a little bit. Um, if you want to be mega bullish on this, guys, and it, this very well could be a count, um, and it could unfold. This count could unfold, guys. No kidding. And this could be a count. You can't rule this out. It's one, two, one, two, one, uh, wherever this one ends, two, and it's out of there. Maybe another small one, and it's out of there, guys. That's definitely a count. Dow Jones Industrial doing a nice shot. You can see right here, that's a nice move that it's doing right there. Uh, I think it's uh, a little, little impulse. Most of the assets are doing a diagonal, guys, in this area. Um, with the Dow Jones Industrial, let me check this out. You can see. One, two, three, four. Maybe that's the five. It's going to correct back down here. Where do they like to correct to? Between wave four and wave two. So back down to those areas again, guys. Get everybody bearish once again. And telling you the Dow Jones is going to crash like the 1929 style crash. But I don't think so, guys. So I think these uh, markets are just working on uh, themselves to prepare to go a little bit more bullish in the future here. Okay. With the Dow Jones Industrial up in this one. And it's a three, three, three. And it's working on. That was probably the end of the correction right there, guys. I don't think it's going to break that 31447 low. Dow Jones Industrial bullish. Uh SP 500 going going bullish means Bitcoin is going to be going bullish. Bitcoin in this area. I kind of look for it to swing back down, up, and maybe back down to this trend line is what I'm checking for first, guys, on that, okay? Um, now, could it whiz out of there? Very well could, guys. You have, um, I don't think so. The RSI is pretty high, but you just don't know. it. Just a move like that is a serious move, but it would be nice to see it get down that trend line. And, um, you know, just uh, 25, 26 area, you know, stochastics way down there. Just have to wait and see what's going to be going on with it, guys. Uh, I'm going to look for a long entry, a leverage long entry in a Bitcoin, guys. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Leverage long, not short. I know most of the guys are going short, guys. I wouldn't be looking for shorts. I'd be looking for longs um, for uh, Bitcoin, guys. I just have a sneaky suspicion you're going to be a lot more successful in your trades if you're looking for longs than you are for shorts, okay? I was doing a little bit of shorting, you know, in this area and in this area. And, you know, then I realized, I was like, you know, it's just better to go long. And obviously it is. So now we're going to go over Soul Fantasma, guys. I'm going to go over this chart, short-term time frame. And I'm going to go over the long-term time frame with you guys, okay? 
Got three indicators on here. And this is why I'm telling you, time to start paying attention. Remember, it went up like this. I said, hey, just let it ride up. I don't think it's going to do a moonshot out of there and then let it correct. So you get this data and then this corrective data. And then you can make a, uh, a better decision on whether you want to enter into this coin right here, guys. Okay. So long term time frame on uh, Soul Phantasm is right here in this chart. It made a beautiful expanding diagonal right here. You can see one, two, three, four, five. And it corrected all the way back down to here into the fourth wave to the second wave area. You see that? It came right into that area, guys. Um, so the correction looks good. Did a nice drop of 97%. And it's in that area. So this is what we're going to look at on the shorter time frame right here. Down here in RSI, the weekly chart. It's on to something new right in this area, guys. Okay. So it's uh, correcting uh, nice and deep in the RSI on the daily. You can see in this area, it's pretty much taking everything out. You can see slowing the momentum. And then in the MACD, you can see slowing the momentum as it's coming down for its correction. And it brought the MACD all the way down here. And it's working on, it looks like it's working on a bullish cross down there, guys. So. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to remove that for the time being. I don't need a MACD anymore. Now, the uh, retrace on this leg is, I think the peak is right there. That, not right there. It's right there, guys. And if you take it off that peak, it's beyond 618. It may be hitting 786 on logarithmic. If you take it off log, it's already starting to work on 786. So more than likely, it's going to be that uh, linear. 786, in my opinion, because it's going to go right on top of that, uh, those other waves over there. This area right here, guys, probably laying right on top of there. Okay, so that looks uh, pretty, pretty decent. And this right here was a flat move, a three, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, slowing the momentum. I don't like the fact that it took it out, but let's check the uh, 12 hour. You can see third wave peak bringing, you can see the bullish divergence right there. So one, two, three, four and coming down for a nasty five. That's what they usually look like. Just make sure you got that divergence on that five-way move, and you do. You can see right there. We're coming down, end of the five-way. One, two, three, up. Or it could be A, B, C. You know, it's a three-way move, and then a three-way move. You can see, I'll show you. Three, and then a flat. This is the flat. Boom. Three, three, one, two, three, four, five for A, B, C. Okay? Um, it looks like this here... It took its time in this area for a flat. This is another flat move that it made, guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, five. That's the flat move right there. One, two. That's why it took so much time. It was hanging out in there for a long, long time. And then it got out of there. And then let me go to a daily chart. It's impulsive move out of there. There's your third wave peak. So one, two. One, two, three, four, five. For three. Okay. And then this is the fifth of the third. So four, five. Four, five. Just like so. And then a three wave swing. So up in one, back in three. So far, so good. And probably right on top of those waves, like I said, guys. And it can't go down to 15, 14, 15 cents. As long as it maintains that low, should be good. And then you will have your uh, setup right here for Soul Fantasm one, two, and going into that, that uh, move right there, guys. Okay. Let me make a change for that. Uh, put it on micro for the uh, main wave count going into that third wave. All right. And then get some uh, conservative to some uh, aggressive targets. Uh, I'm going to go conserve, uh, take it off. I'm going to go conservative first here with you guys. Just a second. Um, 37 cents. Very conservative, very uh, reasonable. For this asset, 37 cents, you know, let's say 16, 37, 134. Um, now go off a log and check it. And you're looking at a little bit more aggressive plays. Let's check the uh, the last wave that it did too, just to be sure if it hit logarithmic numbers. Now you're looking at 47 cents. Okay. So there's a, that target. You got to check it. One to one too. Always check that one to one. Check the, uh, the, Linear 1.618 and then the uh, logarithmic 1.618, guys. Just to be on the safe side, so you can check this one just to see what it hits. 
if it's going to be linear or logarithmic, more likely logarithmic numbers. So there's your two. On log, you can see the third wave hit 1.61. Uh, it's actually 2.618, excuse me, guys. So this wave to that wave, and then it went up. There's 2.618, and then it finished it off, almost went up to there. So 2.618 on that leg. So just give you guys an idea. It hits logarithmic numbers, so that would be your uh, wave sequence over here, guys. You know, the three is going to be somewhere here or over here, okay, and a four and then a five, okay? I'm not going with one, two, three, four, because it's too deep. It's too deep, and then in the RSI, it's coming down too deep. It's taking out the uh, previous second wave over here, and it's coming on. It's probably going to end up down in those areas, guys, to reset that whole cycle. So it should be pretty good. And then going to a long-term time frame, if you will, you're looking at a pretty bullish setup for an asset here. So you got one, two, okay? Uh, this three is going to take a long, long time. You can see wave one took from March of 20 to November of 21. So you're looking at a year and a half for wave one. So wave three is going to be a long, well, let me go back. Wave three is going to take longer than uh, a year and a half, guys. Not that it's out that far, but, you know, in, in this somewhere out here. Okay. And then let's see that wave there. And then this is the beginning of this wave. So you're looking at a little lower sequence, uh, wave sequence in here to start making its way up. Um, you want to make sure too, with this uh, asset, you got pretty deep correction. So you probably might want to get out at the top of these waves, you know, 60, 70% drop there. You got a wave here. You're looking at another 86% drop there. And this was 90 plus percent drop right there, guys. So um, this is a tradable asset. This isn't anything I would hold long-term. Soul Phantasm is pretty good because it's in the NFT space. So it's a NFT play, uh, layer one, two, can't remember if it's layer one, two type blockchain in the NFT space. So it's uh, looking pretty decent in my opinion. Um, are there other assets that are probably going to do a lot better? Yes, I think there are other assets that are probably going to do a lot better than this one, but that's just my estimate based off of the sentiment towards it. Um, it's a little bit older. Seems like the newer ones, the uh, well, I, I want to say that just some of these other ones are catching on a little bit quicker, like Viat Coin um, is probably going to do much better, in my opinion. Um, Nakamoto Games possibly do a little bit better. The game, some of these other gaming tokens will probably do a little bit better. I think even Lido Dow, you have a better shot. You know, I'm looking at Lido 2, Lido Dow coming back down to two bucks, possibly somewhere in that area. Um, so, it's just all it's all just going to depend, guys, on, you know, the uh, sentiment of it and everything. So otherwise, it's bullish as long as it maintains that low of about 12, 13 cents, guys, and it's good to go. If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.